We could continue with our next speaker. Our next speaker will be Alia Tanasoyu from the St. Saba National College with a speech titled, Brave New Ground, Be Brave Enough to Quit the Habit. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Alia. And uh, before starting my speech, I want all of you to do a quick exercise, whether you're a student, uh, a parent, a teacher, or a member of the school's faculty, I want you to uh, think about one of your regrets. It doesn't matter which regret, but just one regret that kept you awake at night and you couldn't stop thinking about it. Okay, I hope at least some of you have thought about this regret and have it in mind as why has this action or event uh, kept their mind spiraling about for an hour, a day, or at least uh, a couple of weeks or months. Now, I want you to think about uh, regret as just one small tiny piece of all the emotions you feel in a lifetime puzzle. So, I want you to understand the fact that uh, regret is just one of three, 34,000 emotions you feel in a lifetime. So, that means regret is the smallest piece of these amazing puzzles of emotions, good emotions, bad emotions, neutral emotions. But what I want this speech to be about is the fact that even though regret or any kind of bad emotion is just a small piece of our life, we tend to make it seem like a bigger thing. We tend to overlook the bigger picture and see bad things as a principal um, step in our lives. I want now to uh, tackle uh, the fear of missing out. Like it's something most of you feel. Uh, the fear when you don't go to a trip because you have something else planned and you see all your friends having fun in that trip and you think like, oh my god, I missed that trip, it would have been so great, and now I think about it and I regret it for like one month of my life, and I use my time like this, and it's absolutely useless. Of course, it's like a, it's a human thing to think about the things around you uh, that would have been pleasant for you. Anything that brings you joy, and that not getting that thing may bring you uh, sadness, or this fear of missing out. And if you're an introvert, like I am, maybe you have felt uh, this feeling for a lot, and have, uh, this feeling has kept you from taking important decisions in your life. Maybe when you started high school, you were put with three choices in front of you. Like, choose to focus on your academics, maybe attend some Olympiads, be great, at physics, at mathematics, English. Like, do your best in a subject that interests you. Or maybe you wanted to choose another path, like focusing on extracurricular activities, maybe attend a sport and uh, become one of the best uh, tennis players in your country. Or uh, take a step back and try to understand who you are and what do you want to do in your life. You don't have to put the pressure to just, when you start high school, you need to be the greatest at football. You need to be the greatest in physics. You need to take a step back, take a breath in, breath out, and grasp what is the best for you. But as a person that has made the mistake to focus on one thing or like some things before actually getting to know myself, I chose the path of 
joining as many clubs, events uh, as possible and like occupying my mind and my schedule with things that were necessary beneficial for me, like some of them of course were my passions and I wanted to uh, continue doing them as much as possible, but for some times I would just go and attend an event because my friends were doing so or because it would look great on my resume. Of course, college wants us to do extracurricular activities, be great in school, like see ourselves as an active citizen of our society, but they also want to see us as someone that uh, takes care about, uh, takes care for themselves, for their mental health and their physical health. And if you choose to do the things that do not bring you joy and only bring you like some, t uh, some kind of diploma or like some kind of skill but that you don't actually master because you do not like it and you are not going to be good at something you don't like, then you would have wasted all those years or all those months doing something awful and doing something that hasn't made you enjoy life. And time passes, and this time you're not going to get it back. Okay, you're going to have the college experience. You maybe can start something new, but you're not going to get back those times in high school when you could have done everything with your life. You had the time, you had the support of your parents and your friends. You only had to figure it out yourself and see what was best for you in that moment. And even if you made mistakes, it was okay, as long as you understood that even if you invest time in something, and I'm going to get back at, at this with an example about myself, even if you invest like one year in an activity, in a passion of you, maybe the next year you're not that interested in that passion anymore. And it's all right. It's all right to change your mind because uh, now, like between the ages of 14 and 18, you get the chance to do this often and there are no repercussions of doing so. So I want to get uh, a bit in detail with this because I want to give you an example. So one of my main passions is political science and I really want to study this further. I don't know in which form, I don't know if I want to be a lawyer, but I want to know about uh, the political systems all around this world. And for that, I, I have taken um, activism. I was a volunteer in as many events as possible. I started debating. And I have found that I have a, a really big passion of uh, debating in a model United Nations format. And for like one year and a half, this has been my everything. Like I would wake up and think about, OK, what MUN can I attend next? What and uh, can I go and what country can I represent in order to make myself feel more fulfilled? Because at that time in my life, MUNs were my main source of joy. Like nothing else was giving me uh, that immense, exhilarating feeling of accomplishment. And it felt like something that I could never quit. You could never quit something that brings you happiness. It's like a pill of joy. You could never. Uh, stop taking those pill of, pills of joy because you become addicted to them. And addictions don't just come in the uh, forms of what you see on the TV, like don't get addicted to uh, alcohol, drugs, or any kind of addictions that are usually treated in a medical office. Uh, you can get addicted to an activity that brings you happiness and makes you feel accomplished. And that what, uh, was what MUNs were for me. But time passes, and as I told you before, uh, some things don't, uh, don't, uh, aren't that great for you anymore and you outgrew uh, these uh, activities. As for now, I have decided that MUNs weren't for me anymore. I wanted to focus on other things. I wanted to get more involved in activism than I was before. I wanted to prepare my college applications. I wanted to spend more time with my friends. And MUNs weren't giving that much joy to me anymore. But because I was convinced that MUNs were my main source of uh, joy and my main source of achievement, like for at least uh, six months, I couldn't quit. Or I couldn't take just a break, like one month break, two month breaks. It's not that hard, but it's hard when your brain has been uh, focused on doing something that makes them feel safe. Um, 
I'm going to tell you uh, that I finally decided to take a break. It was hard, but my family supported me in this process because generally, if you want to uh, do something great for you, you need to listen to the ones around you that uh, wish the best for you, even if it's hard in the beginning. But I have taken a break and I'm glad for it and I can do other things with my life uh, now. I can research political science. I don't necessarily have to debate upon it. Uh, and now, uh, I think that I have experienced some feelings of grief because you don't just grieve people or relationships. You can grieve something that uh, uh, was bringing you joy. I have went to the five stages of grief, if you may call it like this. Uh, and it has been a great time to discover myself because I don't think I have discovered myself until I managed to uh, take such a decision to quit something that was bringing me happiness before. And what I want you to gather from this is that regret, something that you would feel if you choose to not continue something that was great for you before. It's just one tiny, small, small piece of your full emotional uh, puzzle. And if you choose to not stop doing something just because you might regret, uh, regret it later, Think about it twice and think about all the other feelings you can enjoy if you decide to do so and take care of it for yourself. Thank you so much.